Yo guys, what is going on Tim Purcell? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So icy, wonder why she like me, bitch, I'm drowning in water. I just bought a cube and dipped it in a fountain. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool Fortnite-styled thumbnail. And now, I did do a Fortnite-styled YouTube anime last video, and the support was insane, guys. Thanks so much for the sick support on that video. So I thought, why not do a thumbnail version? Um, and also, I'll be giving a free template away, so um, make sure you hit the like button for that, guys. Subscribe if you are new and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next but yeah this thumbnail tutorial is going to be really good because although it's about Fortnite you can also pick up on different techniques that I use like the text um, like the color corrections and just the layout it's just a really really good good tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah let's get right into it right guys so we're here in Photoshop so the first thing you want is a 1280 by 720 document as well as, as, well as this um, graphics pack um, I'll put a link in the description, it's made by Visual Arts and it's a really good graphics pack that includes a lot of really good images um, and stocks and things that we'll need. So the first thing you want to do is go over to wallpapers and choose a wallpaper that you want to use. Um, so I'm just going to choose probably this one right here. I'm just going to drag it in. And before we get started, we're going to add some CCs, so we'll add a brightness and contrast. You guys can just copy what I'm doing right here, bring the brightness down and the contrast up. Colour curves, make a small S shape like that. Exposure, bring the exposure up, bring up the offset a bit and also the gamma. Next thing, you want to go to colour balance, we want to make it more blue something like that, maybe the purple, the cyan and the blue and then once you've done that just group it all together and there we go, nice little CC there. Next thing we're going to do is add a white spot at the top like so, maybe bring down the opacity a bit and then add a new colour and then choose like a bluey colour or whatever colour you've like kind of spaced it around and then in certain places just add a spot of colour like that and then change it to colour dodge and then bring it below the CC's and bring down the opacity a bit just want a small little spot of light of colour so the next thing we're going to do is um, around the outside we're just going to like a black outline using the rectangle tool like so and then press ctrl j to duplicate and bring it down to the bottom and I'm just going to roughly make it the same size and then press ctrl j, ctrl t, right click and flip it counterclockwise and put it on the side that looks ok and then press ctrl j finally and bring it to the other side that looks okay and then I'm gonna group them all together and change the blend mode to overlay now I, do, I think it might be a bit too thick so I'm just gonna oh, change that to overlay I'm just gonna mess around with some of these maybe make it a bit thinner like so And then I'm going to bring down the opacity of that, like so, probably about 70% or something, maybe 75 So yeah, that's looking really good so far. Um, I'm going to bring that below the colour corrections, just to make it blend in a bit more. The next thing we're going to add is, if we just come off this, go to PNGs, and you want to find the Fortnite logo is right here and then you just want to drag and drop that into your document and put it in the well you can put it wherever you want but I'm going to put it in the bottom left bottom right sorry and about there that looks good so now they know that it's definitely is a Fortnite um, a video from that and then what you want to do is get a picture of yourself now 
I'm just going to get a picture of myself, but I'll probably skip this part because it takes too long. Or I might speed it up, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you just want to get a picture of yourself. Because, you know, in thumbnails, pretty much everyone puts like this, themselves in the image. And yeah, it basically gets you more views. But yeah, I'm just going to go around with this using the quick selection tool, which is right here. And I'll be back once I've done it. Okay, so I'm back, I've just gone round it, and I'm just gonna put that below the CCs, make it blend in, and I think I'll flip it horizontal as well. Might look a bit weird, but you know, it's on that side. Maybe make it a bit smaller. So yeah, basically you don't have to do that, but I think it just always looks better if you've got a picture of yourself in it. Um, and then you can add some gradient overlays to that to make it blend in. Maybe add an outer glow to it. That looks quite good. Um, and yeah, you usually be points to some text, so I'm just gonna put um, your text. So this, this right here would be the title of your video. Um, and the font I'm going to be using is Evogria. I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to add some CCs to it. I mean, not CCs, blending modes. I'm going to add a gradient overlay. Make sure that's on normal. Bring that up a bit. And an inner glow. Make sure that's on overlay on 20%. And then what you want to do is press Ctrl J. Well, I am doing this anyway, because I'm just putting your text. And yeah, I'm just going to increase the size of this to make it fit. And rather than have that white, I'm going to change it up a bit, make it yellow. And I'm going to choose the yellow that Fortnite used, which is that. And there we go. We've got that going on. I'm just going to group that together, make it bigger. Maybe slant it like that. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to press Control Shift and Alt and click and just drag it like that. You get a really nice little slant effect and then I'll press Shift and Alt and make it bigger. And put it to the side. And then if you press Control E to merge it, add a new layer, go to the brush tool, change it to white and then just add a spot of white in the middle. Change that to overlay and bring down the opacity and it looks really nice. Gives it a cool glowing effect. And yeah, that's looking really nice. You can also add other, other things. If you just go to the graphics pack, you can add some other CCs. Um, as you can see right there, it's totally up to you guys. You could add an explosion behind it. Yeah, there's an explosion in there. I think there's some more as well. Could add smoke. I don't know. Could add character render. I'll see what an explosion looks like. I don't know if I'll keep this, but you know, might as well try it. I think I'll probably just leave that. Um, I'll probably add some more CCs right now just to make everything blend a bit more. So I'm basically doing what I did before, make a little F shape, exposure. Color balance, make it more blue. Group that together. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add a, a shadow behind the text as well. So if you just go to black, just add a spot of black right there. Make sure it's below the text. So that's about it for the video guys. I hope you did enjoy. Like the video, subscribe if you are new. I'll be leaving a template in the description. And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. As I said, I always read the comments. But yeah, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
I hope you're having a sick day today. I'll see you guys in the next video.